Good morning. My name is Lucy Baus. I am a visual artist. I'm not a public speaker. In fact, I make paintings specifically so I don't have to speak. My paintings speak for me. So what am I doing standing here speaking in front of you now? It's an excellent question. It did take me some time and some effort to determine the reason exactly why I would come here and do this. I'm here because I feel compelled to tell you a story about my creative process. It's the background and the context for some of these artworks and images that you're, you're about to see. It's a story of exploration and discovery before the painting part even begins. Journey is a good term for the creative process as it's most often full of adventure, challenge, and surprise. So I want to share with you my creative process, which includes my personal experience of interconnection through travel to the Arctic and some of the artwork it inspired. So in 2011, I was awarded a grant to complete the Northern Ice Project. This project was about shifting borders and changing landscapes in the Canadian Arctic. This took me on an amazing Arctic expedition from Greenland to Baffin Island. So there I was, photographing gorgeous pieces of ice and standing and enjoying grand fjords when I had this experience that made me understand the idea of interconnection in a whole new way. Being in the Arctic for me was like traveling to another time and being in another reality. Nature dominates this vast, primordial reality of sea and sky and commands complete respect. The opportunity to be there, sharing time and learning from local people about their lives, their culture and their environment was an amazing gift. So I watched men sitting in the sun carving soapstone into beautiful sculptures of narwhals and owls. I watched women chatting, skinning seals with their rounded ulu knives. I watched children casting rocks into the ocean, playing and practicing their fishing skills. I tasted bannock and dried caribou and whale blubber. I picked and ate wild Arctic blueberries chilled by frost while walking across the tundra. I heard mysterious tales of an ocean-dwelling deity named Sedna. And I heard young women recreating a chorus of geese through throat singing. My time in the Arctic gave me an entirely new appreciation for just exactly how directly connected to nature the in traditional Inuit lifestyle is, or once was. The resilience of every element in the cycle of life in such a challenging environment was inspiring. The ocean and the land allowing fishing and hunting, providing animals, providing food, clothing, shelter, sustaining human survival, and building community. The community producing art, culture, mythology, and spirituality based on reciprocity for the survival provided by the ocean and the land. So I could feel and I could see this cycle going around and around surrounding me like it has for millennia. The cycle is simple. How the Inuit people recognize themselves and behave respectfully as part of nature and within that cycle was beautiful and powerful. So I'm back in my painting studio and I've completed all of my artwork for the Northern Ice Project. This project culminated in a gallery exhibition of paintings of icebergs, polar bears, and snow studies. It was shown in March 2012. But then I couldn't stop thinking about this experience of interconnection that I had. And I felt like I needed to continue to work with this idea a little bit. So 
at some point I decided I'm going to try to paint this experience. I started to explore and experiment with a painting process to try to represent this bigger picture and try and represent the whole cycle. In this design, everything is related, everything is connected, and everything is affected. Over the past year, I've been working on developing the Interconnection series. At this point, it consists of 12 large-scale paintings, approximately 5 feet by 5 feet each. These paintings represent the perfection of nature. I will share them with you presently. But first, I want to tell you that I did write some words as well to accompany these images and to guide you through the creative process. So now, just sit back and relax and um, take in this artistic journey. Paint flows, freely roaming canvas, forming patterns like veins, like branches, like river systems, Maps, social networks, outward reaching. A giant web of naturally woven inter connections, crossovers, connections. A colorful fabric, rich and complex, a grid. One circle, framing perfection, containing many parts. A single circle, forming a whole. Unity. Multiple circles, earth, sun, moon. Social circles filled with friends, family, community. Seasonal cycles. Autumn brings winter, brings spring, brings summer. Cycles in our lives are punctuated by life and death, and life and death, and life and death. We return to the center, a brief stillness, a single cell, a snowflake, a bird's nest, a forest, a sanctuary, a breath, a drum, a heartbeat, calm, presence, truth. Then outward energy propels, a wave, a spiral, a ripple, starting slowly and gaining momentum, Motion, vibration, dynamic forces pulling and pushing, polarities, expansion, interaction, creation. Observing nature attuned to this wisdom. Mandela's Medicine wheels, Celtic knots, labyrinths, domes. Knowledge, light, alignment, balance. Access to power, healing, harmony, and wholeness. Universal themes continue traveling over time and space finding truth, experiencing love, celebrating freedom. So as you can see, this has been an explorative process both physically and artistically. It has taken me in an entirely new direction and has led to some very exciting things. One of those things was an opportunity to have a public exhibition of some of these paintings and also the design and implementation of a new art workshop that's based on some of these ideas. It has led to working with youth here in this community, 
with a program called Learning Through the Arts, which has been an amazing experience working with children here. It also led to an opportunity to work and study in Peru to further explore nature-based cultures and traditions of the Andes and the Amazon regions. But that is a, another story for another day. It has brought me to sharing this story here with you today. And it's an idea that continues to expand. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it may need, lead to next. This work references the circle as a symbol for unity, wholeness, and balance. The circle is integrated in architectures and cultural traditions over thousands of years internationally, including Christian, Islamic, Celtic, Buddhist, Aboriginal, and Hindu. It can express experiences both individual and collective. As an individual, this process has taught me a deep sense of humility and an irreversible reverence for nature. I've learned to appreciate the wisdom of nature-based cultures and to recognize interconnection in daily life. So painting is not just about putting paint on canvas. It may be way more about being open to a journey of exploration and discovery before, during, and after the painting part, both inside and outside of the studio. We do not need to travel as far as Baffin Island to experience interconnection or the value of the creative process. I'm sure that we can all relate and attest to the creative process in our own lives. From here, I wonder if the circle could represent our philosophical aspirations as a whole species. If so, how do we go about finding unity, wholeness, and balance? Do we find it through meditation and prayer, nature, science, art, communion with others, Perhaps a combination of any and all of, all of the above. Does it matter how we find it, or simply matter that we do? Thank you for joining me on this journey.